Hey everyone, it's September 17th, 2021. Just Joe Roach with the Brutal Truth for today. Uh, I'm going to hit on a few things. First, let's talk about Gabby that disappeared from uh, their trip. Alright, I'm a father of two daughters. If some fucker had done that to my daughter, I'd be busting himself, a, busting himself a cap, okay? I mean, Facebook decided, I said on my Facebook post, that I'd be beating that asshole's ass. Being a father of two girls, I'd be beating that asshole's ass. And they put me on a 30-day timeout, Facebook jail, for saying I'd be beating his ass, asshole ass. Now... I've been put on Facebook jail for calling Trump of all kinds of names, all kinds of shit, you know, and calling out Trump people as low class citizens and stuff. But this takes it. This takes the cake. This takes the cake. These fuckers don't know what it is to have a daughter that disappears, and how pissed off someone can get. Okay. Now here's the other thing. This prick is using his constitutional rights. Or not telling them where she is. Come to light, there was a couple that was newlyweds in the same area where they were that were found dead. Okay? Now, I'm going to put two and two together and say he had something to do with that. Because he looks like that type of prick. And if what happened, if he... If she slapped him or something and he got pissed off and he popped her one and she, he knocked her out or something and he left her somewhere, he needs to be man enough and, mad and fess up and say what he did. If he dumped her off the road, fine. If he buried her, fine. Then he needs to say what he did because it's only making it worse for the family and worse for him because if it comes out that he did do that, he did do the other two killings, his ass could be fried in an electric chair because Utah does not have A way of not giving you the death penalty. They will, they will, they will fry your ass to the chair. Okay. I mean, it's, 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 you know, it, it's unbelievable how this guy is using this bullshit. Oh, it's my constitutional right, and it's, it, and it's one of his relatives go out there and say the same thing. Well, we, you know, we just want her home safely. Well, where in the fuck is she, fuckers? Where in the fuck is the girl? Let's get this shit straight. Someone someone took her somewhere. Someone put her somewhere. What the fuck happened? She's missing. I mean, what the fuck? This guy's a little prick. If that was my daughter, I swear to God, I would be beating his ass silly. And the chief of police over there has got no balls because I've, I've done shit in my life in my past where my employment I've made people tell me where, where they put bodies, man. It's bullshit. It's total bullshit what he's doing. He's using the Constitution to hide behind. Now let's talk about the COVID shit. Okay. Oh my God. I saw the most horrendous thing. A nurse in Florida kept posting, it's my choice. Stop the mandates. It's my choice. It's my choice. It's my mandate. It's my choice. It's my mandate. And then the bitch puts up, I'm in the hospital with COVID pneumonia. Please donate to my GoFundMe page. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit up her ass. I'm being honest. Any motherfucker that does not want to get the shot, that's your prerogative. Fine. You don't want to do it? Then fine. Don't do it. Don't get the shot. But you know what? Don't play sympathy with anyone. Oh, I need money for my hospital stay because I have COVID. Nah, fuck you. You you, you made your bed lay in it. If they want to charge you $500,000 for their COVID stay, then you need to pay for it. You need to pay for it. Plain and simple. You chose not to fucking take the shot. It's your prerogative. You did it. You, li you, you live with it.
plain and simple. Plain and simple. You live with it. It's bullshit. It's bullshit what you did. And then ask for the public's help and go fund me? Fuck no. Now let's talk about something else. The people that don't want to get the shot, like I said, it's your prerogative. It's your prerogative. You don't want to get the shot? Fine. Then karma is a bitch. Okay? Just like the chiropractor in freaking Florida, Sarasota, Florida. He gave out over 200, 200 medical exemptions to kids that he didn't even see. That he didn't even see the, not to get the vaccination. And when they showed his truck, it was a Trump mega shrine with all the flags and make America great on the truck and all that shit. These motherfuckers have lost their minds, these Trumpers. I'm being honest with you. Brutal truth is here. You know, they are, they have lost their fucking minds. They have no idea what they're doing. Because you know what? They're, nothing in the Constitution preempts them from getting a shot or wearing a mask. There's nothing in the Constitution about that. There is nothing in the Constitution about being, you cannot be forced to wear a mask or get a shot. You get the shot for the polio, mumps, measles, and all that shit. You get your flu shot, and you're afraid of a COVID shot? Motherfuckers, I was in the first COVID shots that were given out. You know how I figured it out? My arm hurt. I've had shots up my ass, malaria shots, everything else. I've had everything. And my arm started hurting like a motherfucker. And believe me, I figured out I had the, the, the COVID shots. Alright? I put my life on the line to test that shit for you fuckers. And I can't put a, I can't put a key on my arm. I can't put a key on my forehead. I can't start my car by putting my finger on the thing. I'm not getting tracked. But my Geico track, my Geico app tracks me. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It tells me where I've gone. If I was breaking too close, if I was pulling too close to someone, if I was breaking hard, it tells me everything I do in my car. Yes, it does. I go grocery shopping. It asks me if I'm at Costco, if I want to rate Costco. I don't mind that shit. But you guys think it's something else that you you don't get tra you don't get tracked? Pull the fuse thing out of your car. There's a little bitty black box about that big, about that big, motherfucker. It's about that big. It's about that big. It's in the fuse box. That's the GPS they put on a car to follow the car. If you have GPS on it, to find it for the insurance company, or to find it when they want to repossess it. Yeah, yeah, motherfuckers. Your car is being tracked. Fuckers. How's how stupid you guys are? That's how clueless and uneducated and illiterate Trump mega people are. They don't realize they're being tracked. Your iPhone tracks you. This iPhone here tracks you. It tracks you. Your Android phone tracks you. You have a fire stick, it tracks you. Your internet on your laptop, it tracks you. Because if you start downloading porn, kitty porn, they'll know your IAP address. They'll give it to the FBI. You'll be gone. Just like I got a phone. I bought a phone from Amazon. iPhone 12 Pro. Okay, 256 gigs, space on it, everything. Unlocked. They delivered it. It showed the being delivered to my apartment. Someone fucking stole it. The motherfucker decided he wanted to try and activate it. And it's funnier than all shit. The minute he put his SIM card from T-Mobile in there, the phone went off. Ding, 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 
have been notified. You have stole this phone. This is AT&T letting you know this phone is being tracked. We know where you are. We are now turning this information over to the local police department to go get you. Have a good day. And about 20 minutes later, I get a call from TPD saying, yeah, we got a call from AT&T that someone in your apartment complex has your phone. Yeah, evidently, yeah. The guy says, okay, well, uh, we can track it down to like 25 feet. Okay. So they tracked it down. They tracked it down to where the guy was. He's in the third floor apartment behind me. And the motherfucker got caught. So there you go, motherfuckers. Tracking someone actually works. So get the shit together. Get your shots. Be a human being. Don't be an asshole. Be a human being. Get your shot. And don't try the religious exemption. Don't try the fucking medical exemption. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And, and let, let's get one thing straight. You try and use a fake COVID-19 vaccination card, you're going to get caught. Because they run it in, the, in a database with the CDC. Because every time you, someone gets a shot, it goes in the database of CDC. And it's got, if you look at the card, it's got a serial number on it. Mine has a serial number on it. They run that serial number. And if that serial number doesn't come up, you're going to jail. So don't even think about getting a fake, fake card because it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So that's it, plain and simple. Get your shot. Act like a human being. Be a human being. Be caring for others. Not a dumb Trump, uneducated, illiterate person that doesn't give a fuck about no one but Trump and the shit he pulls out, the bullshit that he does about his election, he's, you know, he, that we're, you know the, the United States is going to end in three years, like he said, or he's going to be put back in office by the United, Supreme, United States Supreme Court. He put three monkeys on the Supreme Court. And now the Supreme Court is so fucked up, Clarence Thomas is saying it's fucked up, Judge Byers saying it's fucked up, Amy Cohen Barrett says, no, it's not. The other two fools, Kavanaugh, now the, the gymnast went on, on, on TV with the Senate hearing on their molestations by the, the Michigan State doctor. Now, the FBI asked the one girl, when he was sticking his fingers in your vagina, did it help you? What the fuck? Did it help her? She was 15 years old, motherfucker. Did it help her? No, it didn't help her. But the thing is, now, 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 senators want to know why did Brett, Brett Kavanaugh have 4,500 allegations against him and the FBI didn't look at any of them. The FBI didn't look at any of the shit on Brett Kavanaugh through the years. They didn't look at anything because he was a judge. Now think about that. Now they want to know what Brett why Brett Kavanaugh did not get looked at. Now the FBI is going to have to go back and investigate Brett Kavanaugh. And that motherfucker is going to wind up going to jail for something. Watch. For lying to the Congress and getting on the U.S. Supreme Court? Yeah, possibility. With the crocodile tears that he did? Yes, possibility. That's a possibility there. I'm telling you, that motherfucker has got, he, he's got himself in a big jam. And Coney Barrett? They asked her straight out, would you, would you change anything on Roe vs. Wade? She said no. Now, what would she do? They allowed the Texas abortion stand to stand, the abortion law. Well, here's the worst part is. Here's the worst part is. That is constitutionally wrong because he's paying people money to rat out people. Yeah. But Ab Abbott's sitting on his ass, which is his ass, which is he's in a wheelchair his brain has been fried from sitting on his ass which is his brain he's going to give people ten thousand dollars to basically you know rat someone out now let's talk about Doug Ducey that that's a that's a work of art I done a podcast I, I taped it at a private school on the east side now I'm not going to give the name of the school because I don't want to fuck them under but the kids do not have plastic in between the, the, the desk. 
They don't have to wear a mask. The teachers don't have to wear a mask. Okay? My friend's daughter goes there. They sent her home because she was had a fake cough she was doing. <laughs> I raised three kids. I know what a fake cough is. Especially with Hannah. Hannah used to do it all the time. <laughs> Dad, I don't want to go to school. So I know what a fake cough is. Well, they sent her home. Now, she works for... I'll say a company that pulled orders, okay? She had to take her for another test. She had to take another day off from work to take her for another test. Now, she just had a test two weeks ago. They, she had to take her for another test. But, but when I videotaped the school, the kids weren't in the classroom. They showed me the classroom. I'm saying, so what the fuck is wrong with this picture? So I asked the woman straight up. I have her on video. I had a black, I had a blur out her face. She says, well, go because Jug Ducey's giving us $10,000 a month if we don't force him to wear a mask and we force him not to have the vaccine. What the fuck? Doug Ducey's giving them $10,000 a month, a private school or charter school, that if they don't tell them to wear a mask and get a shot, he's giving them $10,000 a month? That's illegal, Dougie boy. Your ass is going to jail, motherfucker. I'm going to get that principal to talk up and your ass is going to go to jail. You and Bombanovich, the attorney general, are going to go both go to jail, fuckers, for this one. You know, and then they want to fight the city of Tucson on the on the mask, on the, the vaccine mandate. Well, motherfuckers, guess what? The city needs to get their shit together and go back to the court before Bombanovich does and say, look, you already gave us permission to do this. Make it permanent. Make a superior court judge make it permanent so that Bonvanovich can't do shit. Make it permanent. And the city of Tucson employees, I'll tell you straight up. Get your fucking shots. Don't use the bullshit lies about, oh, it's going to track me and all that shit. Well, motherfuckers, it's not going to track you. You don't have a constitutional right on it. So you don't have a constitutional right to wear a mask either. So not to wear a mask. So let's get it straight. You don't have a constitutional right not to get a shot. You don't have a constitutional right not to wear a mask. So what the fuck? Police, firemen, paramedics, EMTs? Get your fucking shot. Okay? City workers, get your shot. You go out there and deal with the public every day. Every fucking day. You want to catch COVID? Then fine. Catch it and go home and get sick and die. I don't give a fuck. But you working for the city of Tucson? Get your fucking shot. Get your fucking shot. We, the citizens pay your salary. Get your fucking shot. The mayor is looking out for the city. The city council is looking out for the city. Get your shot. Plain and simple. Get your shots. Don't be pussies. Get the shot. Everyone have a good day. This is Joe Roach with the Brutal Truth. This is my opinion. This video is protected underneath my First Amendment rights to the U.S. Constitution, my freedom of speech rights, this video is copyrighted by Joe Rocha. Have a good day.